We have Pavel here, who is a CEO and co-founder of Distributed Lab. Hi, Pavel. Hi, Bogdan. So, um, what do you think? According, this is the eighth hackathon, and according to the pictures of the teams and their technological background, what can you say about current state of things in the blockchain industry from, say, technological perspective? What has changed in this year? Yeah, it's definitely evolving, and a new thing kind of became widespread, such as DeFi. So, in terms of technology, people started to focus there, and um, kind of now the attitude towards multiple blockchains and interoperability has kind of became big. And uh, it seems that everyone already understands that assets are digitizing quite fast, and um, regulators um, consider that too and therefore the trend will be increasing. So it became more or less like reality. It's not, no longer the just emerging tech, it's already like steady flow of innovation. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think, how did uh, the COVID pandemic in this year, did it affect the market? And if yes, then how much? Yeah, definitely it affected. If we talk about crypto market, then uh, people want uh, safe heaven. Uh, it used to be gold, now it's uh, also Bitcoin considered crypto uh, to be a safe haven for st storing uh, money. And uh, from the other side, digitization um, of kind of economy um, has increased demand for the uh, digital solutions, from which blockchain solutions are also like important. Can you give maybe examples of some use cases where blockchain is applied, or maybe some projects which you can say about that you, uh, where you implemented blockchain and it solved some you know problems? It, yeah, it's always a hard question, but uh, there are multiple projects in food tracking, definitely. Uh, there are projects in, in trade finance, digitizing the flow of documents. Uh, there are kind of projects in tagging um, goods, so everyone can verify their authenticity. Um, there are projects um, dedicated to um, kind of smart to trading, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it's coming. Okay, thank you. And uh, lastly, uh, how can you? What what is the primary goals goal of the events like this, like hackathon, or and what is the reason you actually co-organize all these things, and uh, why 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 do you as a company do that? Hey, you know, it's it's very easy to um, kind of to live in the old reality and just do the stuff that people like used to do, like development, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then, so new technology comes. It changes, you know, attitudes. It changes the paradigm, and then uh, hackathons are the events that attract people who are most interested in such stuff, and they show example to others that this technology is important. And there are a lot of investors. Even we see the the prize fund is quite huge for for this um, hackathon. Um, investors are interested in new applications in something uh, fully digital in yeah, the crypto and blockchain market. So the goal of the hackathon is to attract more and more people and um, kind of use their brains to develop uh, cutting edge applications. So it's kind of the best way to do knowledge sharing among engineers yeah, in certain less, yeah. industries. As I always say, the hackathon is like the, the celebration, but for uh, developers. You know, um, they want to be among the same as they, and uh, they talk about the same things. So you see each other, mingle, play, you know, and, and compete. Okay, thank you. And uh, from our side, what we can say is that we can thank you for being the core organizer of all this. Thank you. Thanks. Everyone.